Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, thought I'd cop on and do another beer review. I picked up a can of Brewdog's Beer Duopolis. This is in a 440ml can and it is described as an oat cream double dry hopped IPA coming in at 4.7% ABV. Hopped up modernist milkshake. I have had this on draft in London at their Tower Hill bar. Um, I thought I'd just try it on the off chance. I got a, what was it, a, must have got a third just to try it and I was blown away by how nice it was. This was in the summer of last year between lockdowns and ended up drinking it most of the afternoon with my friend Alex. Uh, got home and ordered myself um, a crate and polished that off throughout <laughs> the uh, summer it was really really nice haven't really had one since so I thought hey why not hop on and give this a review as well for you guys so got myself a glass ready to go I'll make sure the comments are turned on in this video um, didn't seem to do that last time but let's get this out into a can and see what we get Let me know in the comments um, your favourite beers, if you've had this, how you rate it, what you think of the video, if you want to see more, any ones you uh, want me to do that you recommend. I know this has all been put on my uh, channel that contains mostly wrestling and challenges, but like I said in the last video, I just want to branch out and try new things. If this goes well, then maybe I'll just make my own beer review channel. Just for fun really uh, I love beer and um, like I said I've got many other interests aside from wrestling so maybe I'll just try and mix things up on here for a bit see how I get on see how I feel about it and let me know what you think so anyway here we go another light sort of straw colored beer very very hazy this is much hazier than the um, juice shack that I had last week very cloudy, about a one finger white head. Really nice aroma, that's what, when I first try, uh, tried this beer, I knew I was onto a winner when I uh, smelt this aroma. Sort of mangoey and pineapple. Very nice, let's get into it. Still just as good as it was last year when I had it. Does what it says in the can. A very creamy, oaty beer. Really tasty, really refreshing. The aftertaste lingers. It's really nice. There's no bitter finish. Only slightly, but not too much. Mango. This is well carbonated as well, which helps just move the flavor around. Getting pineapple as well. There's like a slight spice to it. Mm, it's just a really, really tasty beer. Like I said, I'm gonna give these beers a one to 10 rating. It ticks a lot of boxes for me. I love hazy beers. And I just love a fruity beer and this does the job for me. I think uh, Juice Shack is still the best brewdog beer I've had for a while, the one I did last week. I'd say this for me six out of ten six out of ten from me highly recommend it you can buy it on brew dogs online shop I think this sort of beer could go into their supermarkets 
I'd love to see more Brewdog beers on the shelves at Tesco's and Morrison's, etc. Yeah, highly recommend. I'll keep an eye out because uh, Brewdog have announced they've got a new collaboration beer between Brewdog and Salt. I love Salt, I think they make fantastic beers. So I'll be going to Tesco's in the coming days and keeping an eye out for that on the shelf. And grabbing ones, that probably be the next beer that I review for you on here. I've got some Punk IPAs in the fridge, the beer where it all started. So I may even just chuck on a review for that as well at some point. Let me know in the comments what you think of the video, what you'd like to see, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.